two remarkable British restaurants, but only one can win a place in the semi-finals. Okay, um, I invited both of you here today to blow me away. For one restaurant to excel, um, I didn't get that. No, because I got both restaurants excelling in a big way. And it's amazing to see that kind of performance in what, in my mind, is one of the most exciting categories. But the joy of watching and tasting what you've just done in there has now become a nightmare on a personal front because I have to eliminate one of you and put one of you through to the semi-final. So I thought, well, which dish would I put on my lunch menu tomorrow morning? I came up with the decision. Both of the dishes would sit there. That's what I'm faced with right now. So the winner is not based on one dish. Because if it was, both of you would be going through. Think of the journey. I turn up with a coach, 30 diners come swooping in, causes havoc. And it's the biggest pain in the ass that any restaurant could ever wish for. I then film you undercover. I send in an awkward secret diner to turn the place upside down to see how you handle that kind of pressure. Here's my question. Which restaurant would I prefer to return to? West House, would I go to that intimate, stunning, family-run Michelin star done with charm? Or would it be the Sheffield, I suppose, Bulls of Steel? Because it is run with a heartbeat that is missing in a lot of restaurants. Tough, very tough. It is so hard, you've got no idea. The restaurant going through to the semi-final based on everything I've seen is... Milestone, congratulations. Yeah. That was, for me, one of the toughest, most difficult decisions I've ever made. But that dish was unique, and don't stop cooking like that. Cool. Yeah? Going out of this stage, as far as I'm concerned, makes us, you know, at worst, the second best uh, British restaurant in the competition. So, you know, we, we carry on. We do, we do what we do at the restaurant and, you know, keep the customers happy, and that's, that's the main thing. Show me some love, brother. <laughs> uh, guys, well done. Really well done. Yeah, phenomenal. He pulled out the subs there today, and it worked, yeah? Good job. Well done, well done, well done. It's just amazing. It's fantastic. It's a dream come true. It's proved a point to us four and to a lot of other people that are expecting a lot from us. And thank God we've actually come through and we've, we've, we've made it. With that kind of determination, that's where the future of British cooking is, up there in Sheffield. But right now, this competition is only going to get tougher, and I hope they don't let me down.